When you take the power away from yourself and you give it to other people, you just enslaved yourself, okay? You just enslaved yourself forever. Oh my goodness, I have to give my opinion on this Kanye West situation. If you're not already aware, Kanye West, last week, he comes out, he sends a, he does a ton of tweets, all right? He does a ton of tweets, and uh, the tweet that gets the most attention is this one, uh, you know, around Donald Trump, and basically kind of like, um, you know, not like full on support of Donald Trump, but like, you know, him telling people that they, they can't prevent him from liking Donald Trump. He called him dragon energy and whatnot. He also posted a picture of like make America great hat again and whatnot. And I thought this was all very interesting. Okay. So this got national news attention, you know, CNN's talking about Fox News, MSNBC. It's all over the place. Mainstream media, you know, also, uh, you know, on the online community, it's everywhere. Okay. You know, it's, it's hard to miss this whole situation. So this all comes out. Then the, the interview gets posted today, him with Charlemagne. Um, it's like an hour and 45 minute interview. I watched the majority of it. And, and the interview, I would say, you know, it sounded like he's still in a place where, you know, he talks about he, he's, he wants, he's, uh, you know, not scared to say anything and whatnot and those type of things. I think he's still holding back quite a bit. You could tell that, you know, he'd get asked a question and he would pause and then he would just kind of like talk around the subject a lot, especially when they were talking about, you know, his feelings toward Obama and his feelings toward Trump. He would kind of like really dodge it and start kind of talking about something else. You can tell he's still not in a place where he's really given his full opinion, which I think is very interesting, even though he claims he is. He's not really given at all because he's still thinking about brand and whatnot. And uh, so basically where I want to go with this is the fact that people want to box a, a person in based upon, you know, the, their skin color or their age or things like that. Like, I think that's just stupid. Okay. That's just really, really dumb. You want to box somebody in. You want to tell them they've got to vote this way. They've got to think this way. If you don't think this way, I don't support you at all. I'm going to unfollow you, blah, blah, blah. You know, a ton of celebrities, I guess, came out and, uh, you know, like unfollowed him on Twitter and whatnot when he came out with his opinion. I think that's absolutely pathetic. Whether you agree with the guy or disagree with the guy, especially on a little political stance. Like, like, does that mean you stop supporting them? You stop caring about them? That's that's pretty unbelievable to me that people would take it that far. But you know why they do it? You know, you know, like I heard like Nicki Minaj and Justin Bieber and you know Travis Scott or whoever. I heard these you know cele other celebrities you know go out and unfollow him. You know why they do that? They're doing that to protect their brand. Okay, they're doing that to protect their brand, and that's what they've got to do. And so they're always thinking like in a in a brand space. And and I would actually say that's better than if they just unfollow because they're like oh he thinks that way, I'm unfollowing him. I don't want to even know what he's, that's crazy guys. Like, like what kind of world are we living in where people are making those type of judgments? You know, oh, you said this, so therefore, you know, you're a bad person. I don't want to associate with you, you know, anymore. You were so cool, but you said this and now you're a bad guy. That's like crazy guys. We're living in that type of world right now. Now, uh, something I thought was a great thing he brought up in this interview, something that was a great thing was he, he did kind of, you know, um, I guess get to the point around, you know, economic economic development and, and you know self-empowerment and things like that. I think that's really big, okay? He kind of talks about, you know, uh, he goes into a little bit about how, you know, um he kind of talk, you know, Charlemagne's trying to, you know, focus the interview kind of more like on the black community and whatnot. And, and Kanye West was kind of like, you know, we get so much, you know, him as a black person gets so much, you know, uh, we have to hear about the history all the time, slavery and this and that. And we have to hear about so much bad stuff and we don't get to really get brought up into the good stuff, okay, that black people have done out there and whatnot. It's all about, you know, just civil rights and slavery and that's kind of what we know about. But there's all these other people that have done things and whatnot. We don't even really get to hear about them. That's not what you were taught in the stool, schools where, you know, it's, you know, 300, 400 years ago, we're still learning about this stuff in the past. Why can't we move past that? You know, it, we kind of like are, are victimizing ourselves. And that's not just, I was just, I wouldn't say that's just black community. That, like, there's tons of people out there that victimize themselves all the time, okay? They, they say, oh, I'm this skin color or or I'm this gender or I'm this way and they, they just kind of like, you know, they want to victimize themselves to make themselves feel good, okay? It happens all the time. People, oh, my parents, you know, they, they were this or they were that or my parents didn't give me this opportunity so therefore, you know, I can be nothing in life and it's like, you can change it all around. You can change it all around. The power's with you. When you take the power away from yourself and you give it to other people, you just enslave yourself okay you just enslaved yourself forever when you say my mom did this to me my dad treated me like this so I can't do this in my life and this is why I'm this way you just gave all your power to your mom or your dad or whoever or whatever you know aunt or uncle did this to you or said this to you 
or your brother and sister, or, or the fact that your skin color is this way, or the fact that you like men or you like women or whatever, if you're going to feel that way, if you're going to feel that way and you feel like you can't get anywhere in life because, you know, this happened to you or you're, you're this, that's, 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 that's it. literally enslaving yourself and you will enslave yourself forever, okay? You know, there's, there's tons of people that came from far worse situations than yours. I can guarantee you that, okay? Your situation that you thought, you thought was so bad in life is like pfft, not even that bad at all, okay? There are over 7 billion people on this planet, okay? Do you think there are every single person on this earth is born with all their arms and all their legs, okay? Do you think every person on this earth is born with, you know, some sort of food? Do you think every person on this earth is born with, you know, uh, let's say, you know, healthcare if they're poor or something like that? Like, we, let's say we have in the United States or Europe or a place like that? No, okay? There are people, you know, there are kids out there right now in third world countries that, you know, are going through wars and things like that that we don't even hardly hear about or talk about, okay? And their parents just got killed, okay? Their parents just got blown up by a bomb or something like that, okay? And now that kid has to completely raise themselves. They have no family members at all. They have no economic support at all. Like, like, like you know, third world type stuff. Like your situation that you thought was so bad is nothing, is nothing compared to, you know, the person number seven billion in this world or person number six billion in this world. But we want to victimize ourselves. It makes us feel good. It makes us put the power in someone else's hands. And I think that's a kind Kind of, you know, kind of something he was trying to go toward in the interview. I wish he would have, you know, got to the point better and kind of explained that better. But I felt like he was going somewhere that we, we victimize ourselves. We like to look at the past and, and the history and we like to just talk about that instead of looking forward and look at what's going out there, you know, ahead of ourselves. Economic empowerment is key. Okay. That's something that's a, that's, I would say that's the best point he got across in the interview is economic empowerment. He's talking about some of the things he's trying to do in his own life, you know, build some homes and, and whatnot and you know build up his Yeezy brand and whatnot economic empowerment controls everything okay you know people like to put money down and money doesn't matter and money's bad money's evil blah 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 and I'm like dude everything in your life can, is around money so you better put money on a pedestal okay while everybody's trying to say no don't care about money I'm saying you better put money on a pedestal because guess what your health care the, the health care you get in life it's dependent upon money, all right? The, the Where your home is at and, and how big your home is and those type of things, you know, and whether you even have a home over your head, money. What type of car you drive and if you even have a car, money, okay? Uh, whether you can support your kids if you have kids or you have a spouse or whatnot, money. All these things, okay? Whether you can go on vacation, money. Anything, whether you can start a business, money. All these type of things come down to money at the end of the day. So if you don't empower yourself economically, Get ready to just, you know, uh, fall to the wayside, okay? And, and then be, you know, a government puppet at that point in time and then think this way and think that way. It's ridiculous. Like, I can't get, I can't get over the point that people think because his skin color is a certain skin color, he's got to think this way. That's like crazy to me, guys, because there's no other race that's judged that way. You know what I mean? Like, like white people... Democrats, white people are Republicans, and no one judges them. Oh, you're white. You need to, you need to, you know, be over here. But yet, if you're a black man and you say, you know, positive things about a Republican, especially Trump, you know, because he's like, you know, way out there. Okay, if you say positive things about him, you get judged in a crazy way. Okay, you get judged in a crazy way. Whereas a white person, you don't get judged like that. Like, like if a white guy comes, like if I came out and said, oh, Trump, Trump, Trump. No one's judging me, and even if I was a huge celebrity, still no one's judging me off that. But he comes out, he's a black man, and the black community and white people and everybody in general just jumps all over it and says, no, you think this way. You think that, that's crazy, guys. Like, like, that's his opinion. Who the hell cares? That's his opinion. Okay, get over it. Like, if he wants to say that, he can say that, okay? It doesn't matter if he's a celebrity. That's his choice at the end of the day. It, it amazes me that people, you know, would completely stop supporting him or, or whatever. It's just, it's crazy to me. But as always, I would love to hear your guys' opinion on this whole situation in that comment section, as always. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.